Yo, yo, I rap at a funeral. Yo, all, all your rapping's unusual. Yo, you get jacked in a cubicle and your mother is magically beautiful. <laughs> I had to think about the path I'm taking Trapping life is past this date But yet I glamorise it, dog is shameless I started great, I'm half Jamaican, part Iranian I should be saying Salam Alaikum Strange enough, my father's atheist I got scars containing stories of my darker days And when the battery slot broke out my scales I got to mask and tape it Thinking if my yard gets raided The look upon my Marge's face is worse than any charge I'm facing Good, we're back here, checkpoint two. This still don't flop all fucking day. You know the score, Ministry of Sound. Please give it up one time, make some noise. Yeah, yeah. 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 shout out to the staff, shout out to the fans, shout out to the VIP, shout out to all the ticket holders. You know the fucking deal. Most of all, shout out to the battlers putting their pride on the line. You know the score. This is checkpoint two. All your opinions on the battle, if you want them seen by us, make sure you hashtag them checkpoint two. No further ado, MC on my fucking right hand side. Please make some noise for unanimous. Let's go! Yeah. Hey yo, you would have seen him in a couple battles before. He just had a big international coming off a big T. On my left hand side, this is a man like Gemini. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. You down, you first. Right. Gems first. All right, man, we've got three rounds promo. You know the deal, as it on every single battle. Make sure you click through on the poll at the end of the video. We have thousands of you doing that every single battle. Thanks a lot, everybody. This one's no different. All right, it's Gem versus Yunnan. Round number one on Gem. Checkpoint. Let's go. Come on, Gem. Come on. Yo. Come on. See, I was not impressed with sloppy seconds. <laughs> but they gave me Tommy Vince. Can they think me and TV is the match now? I said, really? I mean, the crowd just feed him because he acts loud. That's why I'm comfortable. I feel like I got my feet up with a slag round. Because <laughs> when I beat this bitch, I'm putting TV in the background. So let me get this shit started. I'm battling this broke, smelly, retarded, fat, degenerate bastard who fabricates about the weapons he's blasting. Because in real life, you ain't got a penny regardless. You're at home, checking your harvest while you're having a hard time getting your mum off that top gear like she was Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> They think this vet's destroying me because he can stretch his voice and scream but he brought this war to the surface thinking he could float on my wave. <laughs> now you get to test the boy and see what that means is you're drowning. What that means is you're drowning here. I already know that you sound prepared and equipped with some of your best rounds, it's clear. You bring your best out. You're up against the best out last year. I mean my goal was achieved. Your goal was reached. You went for that crown and... Yeah. We know how that went down, it's clear. <laughs> we know how that went down, but the fans thought you would take it proud. You had the whole crowd prepared. For a minute you stole that picture, then had to give it back. That's the true story about Thomas in that crown affair. I mean... I mean, your history shows. A pattern of losses in between the battles as your victories grow. Then I found it clear. Your inconsistency is prone to overhyping from round your peers. So you lose all your big battles. After winning so many, then fall back down. It's weird. Face facts. Your career, it's like a face tap. The image represents you catch bodies, but we just see you dropping down a tear. <laughs> but it's how you take a loss, Tommy. That's what makes you grow. When I lost my first battle, I remember. No, wait. I don't. <laughs> They wanna fight to death. They all wanna fight to death. So I'm gonna cut inside your flesh with a butterfly knife. When I stick it in your stomach, right then, left. That one moment in history will forever change your future. That is this butterfly's effect. Talk down to me. Talk down to me. Keep on stunting like a vet. I just come to kill. Whether you're in mid-tier or top C, they just give me your raw body and I tell them why the fucking guy is dead. But on behalf of all my Jamaican man them, stop speaking in Jamaican accent. <laughs> On behalf of all my Jamaican man, <laughs> stop.
stop using a Jamaican accent. It's cringy as fuck. Whenever you do that crap, I'm thinking of my family pictures. Trying to add the image of a blackened vest in a background with a Jamaican hat in Guinness. <laughs> I know you thought it was cool, but scratch that, it was a rash decision. Stop trying to cater to the crowd. That just makes you a little bitch. All you do is take some simple shit. Add multiple words that rhyme in a silly pitch, spit equipped with descriptive images. Like when you told dialect, you'll use a syringe as an instrument to viciously rip him into chicken strips. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. But when you think of it, whenever you ever heard someone say, Oi, blood, watch out for my man. I heard he's got a syringe with him. <laughs> A syringe? A syringe? Really? <coughs> Tommy, they're meant to help you with your life. Just because they've been hurting your mum, don't get it twisted, she just ain't using them right. <laughs> She's just been abusing her time. Mm. <laughs> Yo, you hear me, yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Bro, I could have started this off with a quick comparison. He called me Jeremy Clarkson, and after this, should be crashing and burning us, Richard Hamilton. It's the other guy in top, you melon. <laughs> Check me. Oh, is it Richard Hammond? <laughs> He's moist anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's like, yo, this battle got me feeling sensitive. Like he's just a pathetic kid, he ain't ready for the relentless shit. This was supposed to be censors clip, but fuck it. I'ma send for him with sentences like, it's about to be like the Champions League final war. Two teams competing for the last points in the premiership. What that means is, it ain't about to be some friendly shit. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, ain't about to be some friendly shit. Well, fuck it. I'll be the first to admit it. I got kind of killed by tone. But don't act like I'm below the belt when you don't even own the belt for me to swing below. Yeah, I just swing the hits at your middle. It'll leave your gut back and your ribs exposed. Watch his abs buckle from brass knuckles rocking his body like kidney stones. Wait, wait. It's a race. Hello. You in my lane? Nah. Well, even if he ain't, he go to swerving, I'ma burn it. You ever seen a country boy swerving something German? Yeah. If I stop it up a gear and throttle you, that'd be like comparing a Merc to a Suburban. Hello. Your roof gone and you're backing up like a convertible reversing. Yeah. Sleeping, man. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Like a convertible reversing. Hello. Ah, fucking hell, man. Let's go, Tommy. Your roof gone and you're backing up. Your roof gone and you're backing up like a convertible reversing. Fuck it, I'm still that same you now. These days I just exercise, skip out on the extra sides, skipping on the extra fries. Fuck it, fuck it. Someone tell this guy, Gemini, I do a whole lot more than just leave his melon fried. Yeah. In fact, bring, in fact, bring dough. Yeah, and this virgin fruit get baked in a cherry pie for that bread. The way I ice him, extra nice. You battle rappers been saying cakes where I specialize. Yeah. Yeah. You're a faggot with no swagger, you look like a tomboy. <laughs> yeah. 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 To reach this altitude, you'd need NASA backing you, a jet pack or two, or at least an oxygen mask and a parachute. Watch me move up a level for spinning gems, I'm Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Since it's your backyard our feet are planted in, it's your roots that are getting exposed. I'll shed light on your development like photosynthesis. Bro, consider this a lesson in growth. I will set your grave just to excavate where I buried the bones. You see gems getting pulled out the earth like in Sierra Leone. Yeah. I know that was hard. I know that was hard. Yeah. It's synonymous. <laughs> The only Cornish rapper that you know. <laughs> I don't know a 
lot about having something hot in my pocket, but I bought you a cornish pasty and it's cold. <laughs> 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 It's cold, bro. Bro, that's sick, but it's cold as shit. <laughs> well, well done, fam. <laughs> God damn, do you want action? Well done, fam. Do you want action? Well, I've come to show you some proper penmanship. See, the crowd rate your violent bars. Me, I'm not impressed with it. I'm saying, drop me out. They think I don't get along with my college lecturers, all them bright ideas. Up in Thomas Edison, gonna stop me ending him. I've got a couple of ways. All them bright ideas that are in Thomas Edison, gonna stop me ending him. I've got a couple villains on deck that will stop your melanin, so please believe. Last year, please believe. Last year, you seemed to be just a Jesus piece. That chain, you was dependent on it. Now you've lost your relevance and your. That chain, you was dependent on it. Now you've lost your relevance and your spot. I'm stepping in, see, you're not American, but the situation's got so president, I'll make you disappear from the scene for the right price. I'll make Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I hope that they all I hope that they all got the references. I'm putting you nan in the earth in this water day. He won't catch the wind because I've been on fire and he's lost his elements. But please, tell your mum holler at me, bud. Real talk, I will drop her anything. I'll get O'Shea to call her up just to say, Gemini shot me, head on in. <laughs> but aside from the jokes, I wanna fuck with you. So stop talking about the drugs you move, the guns you shoot. We both know that stuff ain't true. You just did in your last round. We both know that stuff ain't true. You're a chicken scratch. I'm a machete slice. What that means is I'm not cut like you. You were on a farm. You didn't have to worry about no other crews. I was getting into beef for stuff I didn't really fucking do, like cutting into other people's lines because I was bumping cues and I don't glorify that shit. So <laughs> And I don't glorify that shit. So if I don't, then why the fuck do you? So you talk about that life, but you don't live it. And that's not very gangster, is it? No, it isn't. I can, I can expose Villis as a hypocrite using his own lyrics. You said, on this stage, I don't have to use that persona to supply you with lines until the battle's over. Were those not your statements? Huh. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Were those not your statements? Yeah. Do you not remember your own bars? That's peak. Were those not your statements? <laughs> Because now you've got the white girl in the boot like a stand video. Mm. In one year, have you really risen? In one year, have you really risen to that Plymouth mob lord status? No. 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 You're just a slave to the crowd. That's why your image changes more than a Hogwarts painting. And why? And that's why you were never a threat to the champion. You could have never have matched him. He played Kim Jong-un, which means that title was his and he didn't let anyone have it. Yeah. See, unanimous, unanimous, you can't censor his actions. He doesn't realize a bit of silence and do good for your alias. That's Benjamin Franklin. Me, I'm ahead of these, me, I'm ahead of these rappers with lines like that one people never would fathom while you're bringing nothing new. Clearly it's ironic, you're still getting reaction. They think he's hot, damn. We've seen him getting beat on camera, my big brother showed the real image in Thomas is just a feminine actress, that's boss. For the fans, for the fans, for the fans, they all doubt that I'm be killing you. Cause they think the world of dragon rap is something I can't fit into, well, I can, I've got the right plan, so going through the dragon's den is just a good business move. Mm. Oh, yeah. And in your last battle, you called yourself a local pikey. I am. In a pair of stolen Nikes. <laughs> you said that. <laughs> and you meant that. <laughs> now look back and regret that. <laughs> well, I look at you like. Yes, fam. <laughs> to let this little fucking gay lord know my pockets ain't filled with money g but if skills was currency then i ball cold as paul skulls in the north pole i usually battle for cash told me i was battling you i got a gluten allergy like i don't need any more dough you 
want to win from me, you're going to have to prize it from between my jaws. Because I've got that pride you never seen before. I'm a lion that will eat your corpse. Writing in hieroglyphs, I depict leviathans and beasts of war. Mm. Communicate, communicating with my ancestors. Black letters lined up on a Ouija board. So that before you go digging dirt, you can lie with them beneath the floor. Yeah, oh, yeah. I ain't even angry yet. <laughs> yeah. You're not important, but for talking, I should snap your neck. You're just a little boy lost in the trenches. I'm a battle vet. You barely had a battle yet. I brought beef in. The force feed him until his jaw seizes. It's war season. Each fort leaving. Your corpse season. I brought cleavers to reenact when they caught Caesar. I forced the sword deeper and draw gore from your already gaunt features. <laughs> So come and wrestle where the pikeys and the peasants are. We don't give a fuck about your necklace or your rental car. Slap your grill out and shot the gold to cash, Jen. Yeah. You mad? We'll flex and get left in the past tense. Get dotted over your words. Cause of my accent, baby Beretta, young pimp, Mac 10. Don't flop, they don't think you're important. Rowan just loves the subtle way that you nibble his foreskin. <laughs> You picked the wrong gorilla to war with. Bar after bar, I can spit to you forfeit. You click instantly mourning and stripped of endorphins. I'll draw swords and jawing. You're a stick to endurance. Every fan you think you have, silly shit blood, you'll dwarf him. His syllables forcing, your linguistics contorted. He only sees himself beating you because his vision's distorted by the fact that he could gain some publicity for it. Well, wait, because this is more than just lizards and mythical warships. I'm militant, literally spilling your organs. I'm picking up a pyramid to stick into your ribs, twisting your limbs, dishing up your liver and portions. Sticking a whip to a sword and swing it to your lip when you walk Cause you've been disfigured and mourning your limbs are walking Cause against Big T Hold up, hold up man, hold it down I ain't saying it again, that was long as fuck <laughs> Against Big T you were spitting like you gripping weapons, right? Yeah, you were. You said you come with Tommy guns and that. Shut up. <laughs> Against Big T, you were spitting like you gripping weapons, right? So technically, I'd be strapped if I stepped inside your stronghold. See, it's never just one punch with me. I'm digging through your list of moves, but weaponizing combos. I'll pull out your sword off, blow your face off with it, and that's after I've set aside your long nose. After this, they're changing it from Gemini to John Doe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because against Big T, you said you'd come strapped with two Tommy guns. Two Tommy guns. Stop it, bruv. With your frame, there is no way that you're able to do that. <laughs> If you experienced a kickback from a cap gun, you'd end up breaking your face with your bruised hand. <laughs> it would break you in two if you came aiming with two straps, and if you took two Tommy guns and shot them once, you'd look like a flailing inflatable tube man. <laughs> more you and adding your flow structure in each clash. Yeah, you're on my dick hard rude boy, I need to ease back. Really, you wanna be me? Change your identity and spit these raps, cause I heard your bars in daylight, so you need a ski mask. That's, that's a creep, that was hard, you know that was hard. Fuck, you get hit with a right mate. Yeah, you still stuck back in the ice ages. I depict my life and you get your life take. I don't give a fuck, mate. Because straight up, you still stuck back in the ice age, mate. Rowan first hollered me when Katz was using MySpace. Time, mate. Yeah. Well done, Tommy. I want to commend you on all the work you've put in and all the fame it brought you. But wait, Shorty and Chris expose your money to so many leagues, and within the battle, you proclaim it's all true. With no shame at all, like, as a man, you think it's okay to have to have your mates support you. You got five bills to battle HK. Never showed, and that's a snakish small move. You duck him when you're in London whenever you stay. The poor dude, and even outside, don't flop. 
I mean, when we were at Westwood's place, you bought food, but your opponent, Bamalam, had to pay for the train and brought you, so in reality, you haven't actually paid your dues. I mean, everybody else around you has paid them for you. He's a, you're the type of guy that's never got a spliff. <laughs> but he always wants to hit it. And it's not the only thing that I caught about this. Why do you always say you didn't beat up your ex? when nobody's even dropped the lyrics. <laughs> Always say you'd beat up your ex when no one's even dropped the lyrics. And that got me thinking like, what's the business? See, I remember the story that was dropped by English, but then I came across a link when I searched the name. It was the top thing listed. It was a local newspaper in your ends, disclosing the whole incident. So I've got the, so now I've got specifics, so say it's not true. Say it's not true. Up. Pussy, stop lying. <laughs> stop lying, that shit is not convincing. Because on my phone, I've got the image. And realistically, how many other dons in play before they're called Tommy Villis, age 22, when he got convicted of assault on a female? Realistically, you should be locked in prison or get dropped this instant. Because there's nothing I hate more than niggas that won't fight breasts but ain't got a problem when it comes to boxing women. <laughs> when you started crying because the money Mitch. Yeah. You, yeah. you got on your keyboard. Acting brave as a soldier. You saw Mitch in real life. Drew for your apology checkbook, tried making it kosher. <laughs> but he had already threatened to bang you. And you couldn't regain your composure. Bagnall. Even you begged Mitch not to smack him for the sake of the culture. He said, he said cool. And he said fine. And he said fine. I'll just wait till it's over while Tommy's crying, apologizing, getting desperate with money like he was looking for loose change in a sofa. You're a pussy. How can you cry when a man asks to fight you, mate? If you think I'm lying, listen to when Tony B said villain made you cry. Locksmith's in the background saying, and you cried today. That's if you. That's if you think it's gas. That's if you think it's gas. And even so, after you did the clash, you dropped the signature pussy line when he took you round the corner and said it's time to swing and scrap because you said, bruv, if you hit me, I swear to God, I'm not even gonna hit you back. Do you know what that means? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know what that means, Tommy? Do you know what that means, Tommy? I win this match because things like that is why respect from others is something that Billis lacks because where I'm from you get more respect for getting beaten up but still swinging back and by Tony D's definition that would mean you have the shittest dad then, then, he made you, then he made you promise to never get rude to anyone on Twitter ever again which is why he hasn't been online getting rude tweeting because now before he sends any messages Money Mitch has to proofread it To summarize, wait, but let me summarize my point in this battle for this nerd because you say your whole style is about the art, right? And the passion of the words, which is why you fabricate a burst like you're a gangster on the curb with a strap you're gonna burst, getting loud in people's faces, getting laggy and berserk. But it shows, but it shows you have an inside problem that you've been trying to, uh, you've been hiding since your birth because on the stage is the only time you get to feel like the man you wish you were. <laughs> an assault charge on my ex bird. Good for you. It's true. It's true. It's true. I have a common assault charge on my ex bird. It's true. Maybe I should slap the fuck out your pig ugly mother for giving birth to you. Yes. Look. Look. It's like 
How about you gather all the pennies that you earn from where the customers come and you serving them up? And maybe then I might just treat you like more than another new person that sucks. Huh? In fact, how about you double the pounds that you've earned in the cut? And watch how quick we can turn this to murder, moot, murder, and lux. Look, mm. act like a champ. You cannot harm me. They thought I was out of ammunition. But you cannot spar me. I'm leaving undefeated. My Mossberg reloaded. I'm rock master. Oh, fuck. It's a cause for concern. Bring your jewelry in the court, get adjourned. Look, you're in debt to the devil. I settle his vendettas. I turn your brain to ash and put your thoughts in the urn. Cause of all the gossip and shit. I thought I'd quit this. But I'm back battle barring again. And the pit bull got all your little shit soon barking again. Yeah, I'll mark you out, put a mark on your head. I'll rewrite your life, but we can start from the end. Yeah, I guess he's Benjamin Button. I give him chest shots till his breath doesn't function. Yeah, and he wheezing like he's 70 something. <laughs> <laughs> Disease on my breath, every sentence disgusting. I'm sick, like popping the molly, then popping the monarchy. I figured if I mock this sheep, then the flock would just follow me, but fuck that. I'd rather stick my cock in a bondage scene. <laughs> <laughs> I should have started this off by saying I'm a monstrosity. Hey! <laughs> Look, good fella, but I'm praying. Really yo. Ah, uh, paving the way like a pagan sculpture. You get your brain exposed to a laser show and then it's face off starring you ain't Travolta. So fuck Gemini. I can't remember rhymes, so I'ma just bring up your death tonight. Fuck it. Yo, I don't give a fuck how this man try compete. You got a leather jacket on and a wife beater, but ain't no black guys in Greece. Oh. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what time, man. It's on. Time. It's on. Time. 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 Time.